guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Michaela and you probably don't know but I recently had my baby girl on September 9th of this year and today's video is going to be what I ended up using in my hospital bag so let's get to it if you guys haven't seen my labor and delivery bag video go check that out before you finish watching this and then come back and watch this one so the first thing that I ended up using in my labor and delivery bag were of course my pajamas. That was the first thing that I ended up putting on and I ended up wearing those pajamas for two days straight. I didn't change into the other pajamas that I changed into and I also did not even change into my going home outfit when I went home. Uh, the pajamas that I ended up wearing were these long pants with the oversized top that could be also a dress and because it was easy to just pull up and breastfeed. I did end up packing nipple pads and also a breastfeeding or a nursing bra but I did not use those. I just went ahead and went braless the entire time because it was just a lot easier because she was eating every hour, every two hours, and I was trying to adjust. So it was just easier for me not to have those things and just to go braless. Number two thing that I ended up using that came in handy was our snack bag. We did end up forgetting our snack bag when we went to the hospital, but our parents ended up bringing it for us. And the whole stay, like, it was like my appetite had went from zero to a hundred. I was just constantly hungry and I wanted to snack, snack, snack. So the snack bag did come in handy. We almost ate the entire bag of snacks. <laughs> the third thing that I ended up using were my slippers. Those did come in handy because I eventually got cabin fever and didn't want to stay in my room anymore. So the slippers came in handy when we walked around the sixth floor and when we went to go see baby's first time having her bath. So definitely pack your slippers ladies. I did pack my own underwear but the hospital did provide some mesh underwear and some pads so the pads and the underwear that I ended up packing I did not use but they did come in handy for when I did get home and I ran out of those mesh underwear and large pads that the hospital provided. So I do recommend still having those but just keep them at home. You don't need to take them to the hospital. I would recommend taking a towel because the hospital towels are very very tiny. The hospital that I stayed at their shower was basically the entire bathroom so the entire floor ended up getting wet and then ended up seeping into our um, hospital room and so the, the towels that I did get I ended up having to use to clean up that mess so do bring your own towels guys. I brought my makeup bag and the only time that I used it which I didn't pack that much makeup I just had mascara and like my eyebrow pencil the only time I used it was when we were heading home and then I didn't really want to use it but I thought I should look a little bit decent since I was wearing pajamas out of the hospital. I really didn't feel like wearing makeup the entire time. Um, but I'm glad I did because because my baby girl was born 9919 at 919 a.m. the hospital did want to feature us in their news article and they came by to take pictures and do an interview and um, if I had known they were going to do that my makeup would have come in handy to look decent for those photos but else did I pack and of course toothbrush and toothpaste I mean you you have to use those you're going to use those so make sure to pack that I did end up using mine I ended up packing my swimsuit and I wore the top to the hospital and I was ready and prepared to get in the shower to start my laboring process and that did not happen. But I am glad that I still brought it just in case because honestly you never know in the moment if you are going to make it through natural labor or if you're going to ask for that epidural. 
if you haven't seen my video about why my birth plan didn't go as planned, go check that video out. It explains the whole the whole thing so go check that out trying to remember what else I packed it's been four weeks since I gave birth to my daughter so I'm trying to remember what I had in my labor and delivery bag the nightlight I ended up packing a nightlight because I thought it would be a super good idea and so I wouldn't have to wake up Jacob um, but the hospital ended up having these lights that were controlled by my bed and they were right behind my bed and Jacob didn't seem to mind about the lights so I ended up just keeping those on all night and that worked just fine. What we ended up using in baby's hospital bag was pretty much everything. We did use her swaddle um, though the hospital did provide lots of swaddles. They even provided swaddles that were um, heated, warmed swaddles. So we didn't use her swaddles as often, but we still ended up using them. She ended up using her black star outfit here with the hat. And she also ended up wearing her baby bear onesie with the long sleeves because it did end up being cold in the hospital. And her going home outfit ended up being the blue dress with the pink flowers because the original going home outfit that I had picked um, the white onesie that says isn't she lovely with the bloomer bottoms was extremely large on her so that was the only outfit that she did not wear um, that we had packed she did end up wearing a bunch of the hospital hats to keep her head warm we did use her green bow oh and the lemon um, knotted gown she wore that one as well with her green bow. We didn't end up using the mittens. She did end up using the socks, though they were quite large and they kept falling off, but she did end up using those. We had packed a binky, but the entire time that we were at the hospital, we did not use a binky. I had packed an extra diaper and of course, packages of wipes. We did not use those because the hospital provided a big bag of diapers and a big bag of wipes, so we were settled there. And I think that was pretty much all the stuff that we did and didn't use in baby girl's diaper bag while we were at the hospital. I hope this helped you guys get an idea of what to pack for when you go to the hospital and what you'll actually end up needing and using. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love seeing you guys' comments. If you have any suggestions for videos, just leave them down below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.